Just two days, COVID-19 extended sick leave in California is set to expire. The governor signed this legislation back in March. And political reporter Morgan Reiner joined a meeting this morning with organizations from across the state who are urging the governor and legislature to act quickly. We break it down in tonight's Reiner Report. Marcy Fukuroto works for Rainbow Services. We serve domestic violence survivors and their children. Services, she says, were made possible during the pandemic because of paid sick leave. Continuing to provide crisis intervention in our community um, and, of course, always being available to support our shelter families with things like child care, um, emergency needs, and personal support. And these are not jobs that can be performed remotely. Carolyn Denise Barlage is a grocery store employee. We have experienced numerous outbreaks at my store. The Public Health Alliance, United Food and Commercial Workers and more groups pleaded with the governor and the legislature to extend the program. Uh, more people are getting COVID right now than they were when we decided that we needed this as a protection and the governor signed the bill. Why not extend? Cal Matters reported one reason is that many companies can't afford the leave without federal tax credit to offset the cost, which is also set to expire. Given that the session has adjourned, it would need to be done in a special session if that road were to be the one taken. There are a few different paths that could be used to make this happen. And our Morgan Reiner asked the governor's office if he had any plans to extend this program. His office said they don't have an update, but that they've been preparing Californians for programs like this to come to an end.